Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hello, everyone. Thirty-three at thirty-three thousand two ninety-three. I drawn this in. I wonder if I could do this right now. May as well. It's the beginning of the week. We'll start off doing a technical analysis of what we're looking at right here. So this is the pattern that I look at: straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, mix of the two. And this particular pattern here shows uh, that you can go. Uh, in, a, in this particular one with red because it's a lowercase h. If you take out that left side low, it's really important because it can keep going quite a bit lower. But if it holds the left side low, doesn't take it out. In fact, it closes above it. You can have a rally, but it makes that arch high, really strong resistance. And what often happens is that you get straight line down, an arch formation that fails at a peak A or a B, and then what does it do? It tries to rally and makes a, an, another arch. And that means you've gone from a lowercase h to a lowercase m. So that means that the third time when you test, if that takes out that left side low, whew, that can go a lot lower. And that's where we are. And you've got a lot of support levels. You've got 33,110, which is a 200 period exponential moving average. You've got 32,937, which is the low that was made at the beginning of May before we started the bounces. The nine period moving average is still very weak. Uh, let me move away from this. You've got um, the MACD. This is the moving average convergence divergence in the daily chart. Very weak. When I did my uh, webinar um, a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> Spoke about these particular patterns. What I was looking for uh, in, in this this in this particular phase, as we're coming into the strong resistance levels, what's going to happen next? Well, I think that we're in for a shaky period because if you think that uh, there's going to be a real quick resolution to what's going on now with the debt crisis, and it is a crisis, um, forget about it because I think that uh, there's a, there's a lot of evidence to suggest. Uh, and, and being away from it, being out of the country, uh, just looking at one or two news articles. I really I didn't listen to the news much at all. Didn't look at the, the UK market, nothing. I just I did a lot of work on, on our markets. I took the opportunity to do a little bit of work. In, in you know, I've been working for about uh, six or eight months on this uh, two click session where you can get, if you're able to identify in the very early part of the day, an entry point. You could hold it all the way through, uh, in the futures particularly, all the way through until mid-afternoon, sometimes even into the close or even after the close, and then get out. It's a two-click session. But I'm thinking now we're going to have quite a number of four-click sessions. That's one on one way and one on the other way. And this morning, in fact, we had that, if I can just show you this for a moment, uh, look. You had a beautiful spike to the upside. First of all, I talk about rectangle formations. They can last a lot longer than your patience. Look at this. All the way from Friday, um, Friday at about noon, you were trading between 42.05 and 41.19, let's say. Well, let's call it 41.85. Well, it stayed that way all the way through, even through the weekend until early this morning at about 9 o'clock. Oh, there must have been some kind of news. Uh, how optimistic this market can be under these circumstances, I, I just don't know because I, both parties are going to be entrenched uh, in, in looking at this as a victory more than just, we, we are just pawns. In other words, whatever it is, uh, we, we're going to just be pawns to the outcome, the lay people. Uh, but the politicians are going to be making the decisions and they're making it on political grounds. And there's, there's, there's no refuting that if you overspend, you've got to cut back somewhere. And if you're not prepared to do it somewhere in some way and compromise, there's a problem. OK, so here we are back again. Where did we stop? Right here at 41.90. Now we're trying to go back. So you can see a long rectangle, say a lot longer than your uh, patience. And when it breaks, when it goes to a D, E, or F, especially a D, just above the resistance line, the horizontal trend line, uh, be careful because when it comes back, if it takes out halfway into the rectangle trading bands between the upper and lower trading bands, 
there's a really good chance it's going to test and probably break the low. Well, it tested the low, and now it's trying to bounce back to the just about the midpoint. We'll be watching this very closely. At this particular point, if you think you can position, you have to be positioning yourself in stocks that you think have, I wouldn't even say upside or downside potential, because it has to be a timed move. In other words, if you're thinking out maybe two months or three months, and you're prepared to put up with a 10 or 15% loss, Either way, because you think the outcome is going to be really good in two months' time, comes maybe end of July, beginning of August. Well, um, this, that's the kind of position you can take. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, um, you've got to be a little bit careful here. There's this arch formation. It's gone to the second arch, but it's not breaking down yet. But wait a minute. Something fantastic happened. Um, the S&P, when I say fantastic, what I'm saying is that even against this backdrop last week, you saw the Dow the weakest. Well, IWM was the weakest, but the Dow out of the three major ones, the Dow was uh, really quite weak. The S&P was stronger than the Dow, and it had a very nice rally that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday move up, uh, going towards the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right here. And that's the reason why I say if we can get to the 4250s and hold there, that's something else completely. But if... Uh, you, if you if you come back down, look, you've got this inside track propellant zone, so that makes the 4180s, and it's called a 4176. 7176, not too far down from here. Um, if if that breaks, then all of a sudden you're starting to see weakness in the daily, and then you have to look at the weekly chart of the S&P, and so far that's still really strong. All the technicals are very good. Um, so we're going to be watching this very closely because it's only going to be really bad news that just tanks this market because here's the issue. Q, 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 one, two, three. The N NDX 100 trading vehicle broke out of this particular pattern. Now, I had drawn this in. We, we have a, a dinner, uh, um, a John, who was calling about, I, f I should have typed this in about six weeks ago, and I said, you know, if I do a left side, right side price tie march to the, to match to the 334.42 high uh, back in August of last year and go down to the 254.36 low of October, and then the arch formation where the dreaded H was successful, it didn't break 254, it held nicely, and then turned into a cup formation. If I take the low that was made, not the 254.36 low of October, but the low that was made, I guess it was uh, around about January. If I take that low and I do a measured move from the 334.42 high, it comes out to the week of uh, May the, I think I said the 11th, uh, May, the, May the 9th. Um, and that's maybe, the, maybe the, the next week, but May the 9th is the actual measured move. And that should try to get you to 334.42. When we were stuck down in the 317s, it looked like, oh, man, you're not getting there. And then, boom, out of the blue last week, we had those three really strong, especially two strong, strong sessions, Wednesday and Thursday. And we went right there. And now we're holding very nicely the new recovery high. In fact, I can call this a, a multi, it's a yearly high, multi-month, a yearly high at uh, 337.68, which we're at right now. That is really important. It's important because of two reasons. No. Be a kind of a lead indicator. Has been very weak, but all of a sudden last week it acted very well. God is still acting quite nicely. And the XLK, which is the S&P Select um, tech sector, did very nicely last week. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, so I, I, I would like very much to thank uh, uh, Jacob for doing, uh, I believe, a great job last week uh, sitting in. Yeah, that's been nice to have. It's been also nice to have someone uh, who is... Uh, instrumental in digging into the the technical aspect in a way that some of us older folks probably don't uh, look at the market him and tommy uh, jr do this it's, it's just a great to have a, a new generation looking at the market in a completely different way uh, that is with their their environment their background and the backdrop that they have, and then applying some of the some of the uh, the techniques that some of us use, uh, it's really nice to see. It's just, it's great, and it adds to the information that we get here. It's, it's, I, I like it very much. So we're looking at the Dow coming back now. It's down 84. So what I wanted to show you is that the rectangle that I drew in the weekly chart, that just said we could be in a trading range, and I've been saying this now for weeks and weeks, the Dow is stuck in a trading band, but it's going to be very important. I just want to go through this for a moment here. See the S&P weekly chart? You see the way at 41.95 uh, back in uh, early 2023, it made that high and then it pulled back quite sharply to the 3,800 level just under that. And then it ran back to the most recent highs. That's the high of Friday. Um, now what I'm looking at, as so I can get, is correct? I think I've got to get rid of that. Let me just check for one moment here. 42, there it is, so 40, 42.1291, yes, that's correct, I wrote it in uh, for last week. Uh, look at the, look, the MACD is still strong, the nine period moving average weekly is still over the 14, so the casting's flat at 88%, the, the on-balance volume is very weak, and that's the reason why I'm saying the technical picture has changed a lot in the breakout from the Chapman Wave inside track repellent to propellant zone 
and that's the green and pink little mini channel right there. That is really important as far as I'm concerned. And now for the first time, we're looking at on a monthly basis for the first time in, a, in months that you've got an L, meaning that at this particular point, it's a monthly chart. You cannot talk about it as if it's a closing bar for the month. It is not. There is so much to go on between the next, what is it, seven sessions or something before the month wraps up. But it's fantastic to see that the L has appeared. That's long, meaning that the nine-period moving average has, for the first time in ages, crossed positive in the S&P. And that's why I'm saying it's going to be just a, a plethora of really bad news that just knocks this market flat because the technicals so far are actually doing very, very nicely. Even though on a very short-term basis, I'd be prepared to to look at the look at the the downside. I'm saying until we get that, the, the, until we get the action in the um, the market hears what it doesn't want to hear. Uh, so far, the bias is just to kind of see. The uh, cork float to the top of the of the water, and that's kind of what we're looking at here. So far, good action in the monthly chart. But wait a minute, the QQQ is really important because it was such a laggard for so long, and now it's leading, and it's been leading since about the end of um, April. And we're looking at a move that's gone. Even today, we've gone to a new recovery high, and this recovery high is over the August. What was the week of the second? Yeah, the week, the 19th of, of August. High of 334.42. We're above that now. This is now could be the second week. Well, we've only begun the week. So it was one week, a nice close above it. And now you've gone into this part where it's got the Chapman weight inside wedge target resistance line. It's sitting right at it at this particular point. The weekly chart has improved. Again, in the monthly chart, there's an L that could change by the, what is that? That'll be Wednesday the 31st at the close of, on the 31st, that bar could be so negative that it goes back to pink. At this particular point, it's not. So this is a good sign. Now, I just want to do this because SMH, is, to, to me, is really important. Coming back from a dip early this morning, uh, and now it's trading at 133.19, down just 11 cents. It keeps making these patterns where you've got the Chapman Wave falling X breakout, pull back, breakout, pull back. Remember the Chapman Wave, it doesn't matter how deep you go from, from every peak as long as you don't take, take out the initial low. That still contains and keeps you in the uh, sequence of alphabetical A, B, C, D, etc. So now what we're looking at is in the weekly chart for the first time, we've snuck above the resistance line. I've raised that. It was much lower before. After all, it's a trend line. And a trend line is only as important as you make it. And right now I've made it where you had two highs uh, for the past, not this month, but the previous two months, making a little bit of a peak, and I'm treating that as the resistance level. And most importantly, with the uh, semiconductors, you've got NVIDIA, which is breaking out uh, to new highs uh, every, every week. Uh, this time, you've stalled uh, at a leg E in the weekly chart. 289.46 was the high from, I think it was August. No, it was April of this year. Plummeted down to 108. That's quite a hit. And then what does it do? It rallies back from 108 to today's level of 314. That's spectacular action. So someone um, uh, likes to look at it and say, but the, the earnings, etc. It doesn't really matter. There are stocks that you buy for earnings. There are stocks that you buy because they're leaders. There are stocks that you buy because they're in a niche sector. And this is in the semi. And I believe it's got uh, the... Um, the automobile area, it's just got a lot of things going for gaming area, AI, everything there. It's the sweet spot for NVIDIA. 346 was the all-time high back in November of 2021. I would say a dip from 346 to 108 is a pretty big hit, 68 70%. And now it's come all the way back. Fabulous move. It's trading at 350. It's still 10%, 11% off its high. Well, you can compare it to a GE which is at a spectacular move. And even as we talk, it's up 72 cents at 104.78. Look at the way this, you remember parallel um, wave count, G slash C, can very often go to a D. We got that in the weekly. You've got a spectacular move, leg C in the monthly chart. Uh, the daily chart, let me get rid of this for the moment. Just move that over right there. Move that across. Yeah, so they're both acting well. And one is really, this is, this is the uh, 
the cyclicality of the market. This is really, this has to do with airplane engines. It's just, it, it, it's got a lot going for it in the vernacular of the economy. The semiconductor, NVIDIA has a lot going for it in another sector of the economy. So I love the fact that G is acting so well. I don't love the fact that we don't own it because I've liked it for so long. I just never get into it. But for subscribers, I like it. Now it's getting a little choppy. I've said that before. But uh, we'll see how it handles the next uh, week and a half because that's going to be very important. But they both do one. They do completely different things. But they service you know, for the fund managers different sectors of fund buying. All right, Jess G. I want you to go to the XLK, which is the same thing in the tech sector. Tech sector, sorry, that is the same thing as the uh, semiconductors. Look at that nice move up, leg B, gray leg B in the monthly chart. G stash C in the weekly chart. All the technicals are really strong, except on balance volume. Weekly is not that great. 96% with the uh, stochastic. And look at this XLK daily, gone to a leg. This is a leg D as we speak right now at 158.02. Uh, just uh, in March, it was down at 134. Boys, it's a pretty decent thing for a tech sector. I'll be right back. Basil Chapel Tiger, Christmas Hour, and we're covering a lot. But I'll, I need to go to um, the bonds when I get back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We're just uh, typing away, answering some questions in the den. But let me just go through this um, uh, question about GSM, which is uh, trading at 
4.92, up 26 cents, up 5.7 percent. Ferroglobe PLC does specialty metals. The monthly chart is very difficult to analyze right now because it has had such big moves up and then sharp moves down and then a big move up below the previous high. And that just says making higher high, uh, high sorry, making lower highs and lower lows. Uh, a lot of work needs to be done to change that. So it has to come from the weekly chart. But the weekly chart, as we speak, is just broken out of a resistance level. Uh, not dissimilar to what we would be looking at in the monthly chart, but let's rather look at the weekly chart a little closer uh, right here. You see, we've got this triangle, and it's formed a base. It never got back to the base on the pullback, but it's breaking the chamber wave inside track repellent zone. That makes this a propellant zone. The whole area of fours, maybe 420 to 380, that's going to be really important over the next week. But more importantly, if it's able to cross the, the week of the 7th of April of this year, the high was 510. So as it stands right now, it's increasing as we talk. Now it's uh, up uh, 4.89. If this stock, and it's in an area that kind of specialty, it, it, it goes in and out of favor. That's what I wanted to say. But if... This week, I, I would prefer that it's this week. If it's next week, that's wonderful. But this is the week that you want that acceleration because this is the way it works. It spirals to the upside and then just stalls. But this time, it's starting to make a kind of a cup formation, a W formation in the weekly chart that says, whew, the magnet is starting to improve a lot. The stochastic is not good at 35%, but it's really nice to see the nine-period moving average way over the... Um, uh, 20, the nine pre, uh, let me just do that again. They're looking at the stochastic, where the 14 period moving average, and if you look at it this way, you can see that green line is nicely above the red line, and that that expansion shows you that there's momentum to the upside, and that's really a good sign. So let me just get rid of this to show you how it's working in the daily, and the daily has this cup formation. So I like this very much because it's got this W. Um, it's sort of in a rectangle formation with lower lows and lower highs. I would love to be able to have a rectangle that I can pinpoint there and then draw it diagonally down. It doesn't do that. So I'll have to make it like this. And I'll say it broke underneath the key support for a lot, for about two weeks. It kept more, three weeks. It kept going underneath that key support of 4.15. And now it's trading and it got stalled right at the 4.96 is the 200 period exponential moving average. Today's high is 4.93. So if it can start to trade above that, and I would say Tuesday, we can go to Wednesday. But if it's really the first part of this week, if it just has one pop above that peak of the 3rd of April, which is at 510, doesn't have to close the... I, obviously, you'd also like it to prefer to close above that. But if it can just hit above that, then it makes this whole area of 496, the 200 period moving average, a kind of a, a support level. But you can see how often it's failed. It's, it, it's really tough to break above the 200 period moving average and hold. So that's going to be very important. Looking out, I would just say that if, if I had to do it, give it a timetable, I would say by August, there's a really good chance that this is trading in the 6.80 to 7.30 area. So uh, that's a big percentage. It doesn't sound like much on a stock like this, but that, that's kind of the way I look at it. But absolutely, it's imperative that for any two-week period, it does not close below 380. That, that whole August thing is contingent upon not closing for two weeks under 380. Our right, next question was IWM. IWM. IWM is the Russell 2000 <clears throat> small caps. Trading quite nicely up $1.23 at 177.33. Now, because the MAGD is good, the stochastic's at 80%. Other than the news that just keeps filtering in and out, and you can see how it's affecting the market every minute of, the, of, the, of, of today, uh, just the rumors, and you're going to get a lot more of those. But most importantly, what I would say is that gap from the uh, about around right about the 7th or so of May, that gap has not been filled, although a lot of attempts to do it. And it's made higher highs, but it hasn't broken the high of 179.63 that was made on the 18th of April. It has the cup formation. 
If I had to do this as a left side, right side price time match, that's bar symmetry to the low that was made right there. Uh, yep, that's the one I should use, trough D, right there. And I'm going to go click, and go click again, and it says green. Make it green. Uh, wait, 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 repeat. New parallel, greeny. There we go, green. And you got yourself until... Well, oh, it's already too late, so I have to move it to the side. But what I do then is I use the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Resistance Line. I can't use that. That's just a little too high. But I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to go to the right. And it says, yeah, by, by Wednesday, if we haven't had some really disappointing news to tank the market, by Wednesday we should make a leg D above that 176 point. 89 high of Friday, and that'll be important. Could do it today, but I'm thinking that it could be a little later in the week. Um, and but the week weekly chart is still very very poor action, and if it does go to 180, the 181.69 is the 200 period exponential moving average in the daily. If it goes, if it touches, it doesn't even have to close. If it just touches this week, that is really going to help the weekly chart MACD uh, to improve. But of course, you need to see it on Friday at four o'clock. Can I look at CLRO? CLRO. CLRO is. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, is that CLRO or is that the crude oil something or other? No, it's CLRO. CLRO is Clear One Inc. trading at um, $2.21, down 34 cents. So this is this is the low right here of $118. Uh, this was retested at 118 Great. Oh, I love to see that where there's a left side low and it's tested successfully. And then you get the arch formation that goes into this incredible cup breakout pattern. So that's going to make it, uh, I'm going to do this. I don't want to do this blindly. So I'm going to get this right here. 127, 127. That's what I wanted to see. So this is peak A. This is peak B. Now, I don't know what they do, but it doesn't matter because we're looking at the chart. And it's, it's I would say from the chart itself, it's, it's light volume. Uh, yeah, 989 for a two dollar stock, 1.9 um, to two million. Yeah, it's kind of light volume. So let's just go to this right here. So that's the low that was important. So that's peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. So it made it a top right in uh, February, uh, no, January, the week of the 27th of January at 1.96 to quite a bit of a, a dive. And now it's had another spike to the upside. And the trouble of this is every time it takes a spike in the weekly chart, it gives back a big chunk the following uh, following week. Uh, so I've got to be careful here. But this is just Monday, obviously. Wow, this is so interesting. It's just amazing. I want to see. I think we'll be right back. Dow's down 83. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So we're back. Uh, just a couple of things. So DSM, um, they are they uh, have uh, defined significant metals and quartz as the EV batteries. I remember I put this uh, some time ago. I can't find it because I just got back. I've got a, a sheet of, with all the different um, microbiotechs that show up and uh, my screamerless, etc. And this this one did show up, and I put it into the EV sector, the battery EV sector. So I had notes on it. Uh, yeah, I like that area, but you've got to be very careful. So a question, um, cool spurs wasn't about CLRO. So tier one, Inc., at conferencing, design, streaming solutions, I'm not going to put it in the category of Zoom, but I suspect that it's kind of a contemporary. Uh, it's obviously in a different uh, category altogether because Zoom is one of the biggies. Zoom video communication. Don't they have earnings coming out soon anyway? Good day today for Zoom. It's up 69 cents, but the weekly and monthly charts look terrible. So let me just go to CLRO. And all I can say is, a question I had was, is this a trade or is this a longer term position? Because if you, um, if you treat this as a longer term position, if you're able to sit out all the, the, the vicissitudes of, of spiraling like a rocket to the upside and then just rocketing, plummeting to the earth. Um, that's one thing. That's longer term. Because longer term, I think this does, it's proved that it does go in the chapter wave, it goes to a peak D and then even an E as it did back in 2021, uh, back in the fours before it plummeted down to the single digits, actually to the 40 cents in the area. But I, I would, if that's the case, I would just sit with this as it is right now, if you have it already, but if it's a trade, I would expect that it goes to a leg D because it's at a gap and that gap hasn't been filled for three weeks. Today got into the bar of the gap, but it's still holding fabulously. So you've got to be very careful. What I would look for is if by Tuesday without taking out, oh, I don't want to see go under 203, the low of the day, but if by Tuesday it's held above, closed above 213, Actually, I'd prefer if it closed above 228. If it can close above that, it has a good chance this week of trying to get to a leg D. But if it's a longer term position, then I would say you could you could trade around it. But I would I would have a position if you've got it to lower down and you've got it before the gap up. I would just hold a portion of this. It looks like if you have the patience. Every once in a while, you just look at your portfolio and say, well, well, what's going on here? Oh, look at that. It just bounced 20% uh, or something like that. That's what it does. So looking out, I think it will go to a leg D up in the 280 maybe $3 area. Looking very short term, it must not cl uh, close. In this peak C right now, if there's no new high with a doji candle, 
I don't want to see it close under ooh, 213 is the nine period moving average. But certainly if it takes out today's low by tomorrow, just be real careful. I hope that helps you. Um, of course, we, we, we this is we're finessing it here. Question came in. Could I look at VLO? Was it? Yeah, VLO, Valero. This is in the oil sector. Uh, Valero Energy, oil and gas exploration, a peak APP, peak C. And today, I believe it just missed by 113.06. No, it didn't. It went to 113.20. So this is already in a very small move. Made a peak A, peak B, C, and now it's gone into a leg D. I'd be real careful. Um, now, I, I, I should say something. I should clarify that. I'd be real careful on a stock that's had this kind of a move and already got to D in a very, when you, I'm only looking at it not on a percentage basis, certainly going from 104 to 115, over 10%. It's pretty damn good. But when you look at this thing that goes from 150 down to the 100 area, 104 area, this is just a tiny move. So I'd be real careful. Um, I'm going to put rig in this category as well. This is, whoops, this is rig, RIG is the symbol, trading right now. This is going to be TransOcean. Uh, so this is a much nicer looking chart at 617 up 24 cents because it's trying to flip. I've seen so many of these charts make the sharp peak A, pull back or a B, and then have a very small under it. Look, this is a peak A right here, but it's not a peak A minus because it never took out the lower 540 right there. Um, a, B, there's already a C. This is a nicer looking chart on the very short term. Looking out, Valerius, in some ways, it's just a different chart pattern. I've watched these two together for a long time. Look at this monthly chart. Um, it had the double top over there, pulled back sharply, peak D in the weekly chart. It's stuck in the range, whereas rig is stuck in the range, but it has a different weekly chart because it, it, it's only had a minor pullback after that peak D with an arch formation, a dreaded H so far successful. So you didn't ask me, but I'm just saying, as charts, I think rig is a slightly better one at $5.16. Next question came in. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's exactly what you said. And you weren't saying A to B equals C to D. This is the Chapman wave, peak A, peak B, peak C, leg D. So uh, if, you, if you're in it, take a little bit off. I, I wouldn't get all, all of it out. I'd just say take a little bit off for money management. Question came in, uh, LRNZ. L R N Z. I don't know if it's a question for me, but it was in the Tiger YouTube. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. this is uh, True Shares Tech AI. Oh, is this an is this an ETF for that? Um, this is fantastic. So it took out that low, so we can start a brand new buy right here. Peak A. That's not a peak. If it's by one penny, it would be, but I don't think it is. High was 27.18, 27.18, parallel highs, that's B, that's C. This is looking very good. Um, oops, that's not an A, that's a B. So this is in leg B, um, acting very well, AI, and I'm not sure, LRNZ, uh, someone maybe tell me what it is, but I, I think I read that correctly. Okay, so that's, that's the question. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, that's an arch formation. It took out that left side low. So this starts a brand new buy. And the, the stochastic is fabulous. Oh, 99.25. I must make a note. We don't often see 99 percenters in stochastic. So I'm going to put LRNZ Stoke 99.25. Oh, it went from 26 to 25 as we're speaking. 25. Unbelievable. You don't often see that because it never gets to 100%. So, and the on-balance volume is a little bit overbought. This is getting a little bit overbought, but it looks fantastic. I'll do a little bit more work uh, this afternoon. LRNZ. So that was a question. I love it. But on a very near-term basis, watch the 20, 20, 2871 was the low today. If it closes in the next two days without making leg D under 20, 2832, I say just be a little careful. It's going to take its time to get to that leg D. It should get to the D in the uh, in the daily chart. Uh, and so far, it's broken out above the left side high of um, back in February. I think I'll tell you exactly what it was. Left side high was 20, 
Oh, wait a minute. 29.29. Today's high is 29.30. By one penny. We're great. This is peak A. That's peak. That's A. That's A. That's B. This is leg C to the upside in the weekly chart. I'll, I'll maybe in the break I'll type it in. I'll check out exactly what it is. I can be, I can read it a little bit better. Um, uh, 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 nineteen big divergence between the two. So um, yeah, we have one in the AI sector which is making new recovery highs today. So you take just a tad off because we're in uh, lower down, and just money management says we take a little bit of nice profit, and we did that. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chap and Tiger Tech issues are down 131. SP is down a fraction. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Dan at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF fnn.com You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Looking at this is Two Shares Tech ETF AI and Deep Learning 29.31. This is really, you know, as I was looking at it, I just suddenly got tears in my eyes just to kind of overwhelm me. Uh, tears in my eyes thinking of late Dave White. Wow, I mean... What an era this would have been for Dave. I mean, all the stuff going on, and he was right into it. Oh, what a loss. All right, well, what we're looking at here is that the uh, uh, it's, it's looking very strong. Um, I like it very much. Can you buy it here? Well, you could start a position here. Uh, just start. You don't have to get too carried away. Uh, I'm sure you'll have plenty of opportunities. Okay, so a couple of things as we're going to wrap up for this uh, segment. Well, back. Time flies, huh? 
Uh, so we have that. Yes, I'll, I'll make it. So what we're looking at here, so with any other questions, I just wanted to make sure I got this. Oh, UNG. So UNG, uh, natural gas, NG, uh, trading uh, down 19 cents. Yeah, one of the things I was a little concerned about when I looked at it, I looked at it on Thursday, I think for my subscribers on Friday, I said, we're watching it closely because this is the natural gas continuous contract, had a very nice pop, but now it's giving back a huge. I had said that um, uh, someone asked me about it, I said, no, the weekly chart still needs so much work and it's going to only happen if the daily chart improves. I I'm not happy with this at all. So I'd be real careful. Dow's down 147. Just remember, this is, a, this is a very fragile market right now. We could whip 200 points in the Dow. Anyway, look at this dreaded H pattern right here. I said uh, uh, earlier on, that we're going to be watching very closely because the uh, support level, certainly in the 4194 area, is going to be really important. And then you get 4180. Close below 4180 says, uh oh, on the upside, we went a little higher. I said 4214. We went to 40, uh, 4221. Uh, and then we pull back. I'm watching this go. Yes, this is right now. Be a little careful. But if you've got positions, for instance, we have a couple of positions that are doing very nicely. Then we missed it. Like, this week. Uh, what can I say? But be selective. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Steve Rhodes. Check out my Open Call Daily newsletter. See you tomorrow. Good to be back.